man just punched me in the face. Okay, is he still there? Yep. He said he's gonna kill me. Does he have any weapons? He needs to send like three or four cops. That is just a portion of the seven minute 911 call George Zimmerman made on Sunday. He told police he was at a bar when a man walked up and punched him in the face. And then, according to Zimmerman, the man threatened to shoot and kill him. Zimmerman stays calm on that call, explaining what led up to the sucker punch. But witnesses have another side of the story. They say Zimmerman was overheard introducing himself to another person at that bar as the man who killed Trayvon Martin. ABC Action News anchor Lindsay Logue is live in the studio right now with more of that 911 call and also the reaction on social media this morning. Good morning, Lindsay. And Dan Adia, good morning. Not only introducing himself as George Zimmerman, but bragging about it as well. That's according to witnesses. And this morning, I've been reading hundreds of tweets about George Zimmerman. That majority of from people who think that he got what he deserved on the 911 call Zimmerman claims that the guy who punched him recognized him as the man who killed Trayvon Martin but witnesses told police a slightly different version of the story that Zimmerman was explaining to people that he shot Martin in self-defense witnesses also said Zimmerman was showing his ID telling people in the bar his name and what he's known for can you just get away from him I can try, but his friends are all around us. Do you know his name? No. Nope. Uh, has anybody been drinking? They have, obviously. What started the argument? He recognized me. Interesting to note, Zimmerman did not want to tell the 911 dispatcher his name, instead saying he would wait until police arrived. As of this morning, no arrest. Police haven't even named a person of interest, but Zimmerman was able to clearly describe most of the people involved and their vehicles. We'll, of course, keep you updated on this one. Dan.